this idea of taking photos of families during the start of COVID start? So I, um, I wanted to do something to give back to my clients. It was a time where we were thinking of others and trying not to focus just primarily on ourselves. I had closed my business um, during COVID, making sure that we were doing the right thing. We didn't at that time understand how things were being spread. And I certainly didn't want to be um, someone that was doing something wrong, either to spread it to others or to, um, you know, get sick and bring it to my elderly parents. So I shut down COVID and I was, I was shut down during COVID and I was um, looking for a way to still be creative. Um, without that, I am not a happy person. And so we decided, my husband and I, to start the project and uh, to give back to my clients in a way that I felt was meaningful to help them document and um, remember a period of time that was certainly novel. None of us had experienced anything like that before. So that's sort of how it began. Explain to me exactly what would you say you're trying to say with your photographs? In general or during this project? During this project. Yeah, so during this project, um, initially I wanted to speak mostly to just the pure photojournalism of a situation that was um, brand new to us and document what was happening in um, our population, but it did evolve into something a lot different. Um, I, I don't think I, I changed the way I was photographing people, but um, the interpretation of the project afterwards certainly evolved into something that was much more than I had initially intended it to be. Um, which was a beautiful thing, right? Like we were it, we were experiencing a lot during that time. Not only were we surviving um, and learning about a serious pandemic, but we were also experiencing a lot of social experiencing a lot of social injustice and um, photographing people of all shapes and sizes and colors and you know religious backgrounds was. Um, a wonderful learning experience and very enlightening for my husband and I and gave us a new perspective, certainly. And I would like to believe that in the process of sharing these images on social media and my thoughts, as well as the images themselves, right, when you're sharing with your words as well, hopefully was um, 
was enlightening for others as well, right? Because people's perspective is very different and unique. And unless you um, give yourself an opportunity to step outside of your own experience, you don't learn. You don't learn about others. And this certainly 117 families that were most of them in very different situations than I was in. Um, was a very good growth experience. Is there anything that you'd like to add that you think maybe I missed? Um, no, I think that photojournalism is such an important part, always has been such an important part of our society, right, for hundreds of years now. Um, but with everyone having a phone and a camera in their hip pocket, right? A video uh, machine and a camera in their hip pocket. It has become and blown up into something that it never was before. And so I see it as, as something that's very positive, but also a huge um, responsibility as well. Right, we, we see where things are being photographed now that were never photographed before. And it is, um, it's huge and necessary, right? When we talk about some of these social injustices and to bring perspective to others that otherwise wouldn't, wouldn't understand somebody else's point of view that's completely different than theirs. Um, so for this project, I we had three people pass away of those 117 families, only one of them from COVID, but um, to look back on it now, I'm so thankful we did it. And I, it, I think it was valuable to every single one of those families and certainly value, valuable to myself and my family.